In fluid dynamics, gravity waves are waves generated in a fluid medium or at the interface between two media when the force of gravity or buoyancy tries to restore equilibrium. An example of such an interface is that between the atmosphere and the ocean, which gives rise to wind waves. A gravity wave results when fluid is displaced from a position of equilibrium. The restoration of the fluid to equilibrium will produce a movement of the fluid back and forth, called a wave orbit. Gravity waves on an air-sea interface of the ocean are called surface gravity waves or surface waves, while gravity waves that are within the body of the water such as between parts of different densities are called internal waves. Wind-generated waves on the water surface are examples of gravity waves, as are tsunamis and ocean tides. Wind-generated gravity waves on the free surface of the Earth's ponds, lakes, seas and oceans have a period of between 0.3 and 30 seconds 3 hertz to 0.03 hertz. Shorter waves are also affected by surface tension and are called gravity capillary waves and if hardly influenced by gravity capillary waves. Alternatively, so-called infragravity waves, which are due to subharmonic nonlinear wave interaction with the wind waves, have periods longer than the accompanying wind-generated waves. Topic. Atmosphere dynamics on Earth In the Earth's atmosphere, gravity waves are a mechanism that produce the transfer of momentum from the troposphere to the stratosphere and mesosphere. Gravity waves are generated in the troposphere by frontal systems or by airflow over mountains. At first, waves propagate through the atmosphere without appreciable change in mean velocity. But as the waves reach more rarefied thin air at higher altitudes, their amplitude increases, and nonlinear effects cause the waves to break, transferring their momentum to the mean flow. This transfer of momentum is responsible for the forcing of the many large-scale dynamical features of the atmosphere. For example, this momentum transfer is partly responsible for the driving of the quasi-biennial oscillation, and in the mesosphere, it is thought to be the major driving force of the semi-annual oscillation. Thus, this process plays a key role in the dynamics of the middle atmosphere. The effect of gravity waves in clouds can look like altostratus undulatus clouds, and are sometimes confused with them, but the formation mechanism is different. Topic. Quantitative description Topic. Deep water The phase velocity C display style script style C of a linear gravity wave with wave number K Display style script style k is given by the formula c equals g k display style c equals sqrt frac g k where g is the acceleration due to gravity. When surface tension is important, this is modified to c equals g k plus sigma k rho display style c equals sqrt frac g k plus frac sigma k rho where sigma is the surface tension coefficient and rho is the density since c equals omega k display style script style c equals omega k is the phase speed in terms of the angular frequency omega display style script style omega and the wave number the gravity wave angular frequency can be expressed as omega equals 
g k display style omega equals sqrt g k the group velocity of a wave that is the speed at which a wave packet travels is given by c g equals d omega d k display style c underscore g equals frac d omega d k and thus for a gravity wave c g equals 1 2 g k equals 1 2 c Display style c underscore g equals frac one two sqrt frac g k equals frac one two c. The group velocity is one half the phase velocity. A wave in which the group and phase velocities differ is called dispersive. Topic: Shallow water. Gravity waves traveling in shallow water, where the depth is much less than the wavelength, are nondispersive. The phase and group velocities are identical and independent of wavelength and frequency. When the water depth is h, c p equals c g equals g h. Display style c underscore p equals c underscore g equals sqrt g h. Topic: The generation of ocean waves by wind. Wind waves, as their name suggests, are generated by wind transferring energy from the atmosphere to the ocean's surface, and capillary gravity waves play an essential role in this effect. There are two distinct mechanisms involved, called after their proponents, Phillips and Miles. In the work of Phillips, the ocean surface is imagined to be initially flat glassy, and a turbulent wind blows over the surface. When a flow is turbulent, one observes a randomly fluctuating velocity field superimposed on a mean flow contrast with a laminar flow, in which the fluid motion is ordered and smooth. The fluctuating velocity field gives rise to fluctuating stresses both tangential and normal that act on the air-water interface. The normal stress, or fluctuating pressure acts as a forcing term much like pushing a swing introduces a forcing term. If the frequency and wave number omega k display style script style left omega k right of this forcing term match a mode of vibration of the capillary gravity wave as derived above, then there is a resonance, and the wave grows in amplitude. As with other resonance effects, the amplitude of this wave grows linearly with time. The air-water interface is now endowed with a surface roughness due to the capillary gravity waves, and a second phase of wave growth takes place. A wave established on the surface either spontaneously as described above, or in laboratory conditions, interacts with the turbulent mean flow in a manner described by Miles. This is the so-called critical layer mechanism. A critical layer forms at a height where the wave speed c equals the mean turbulent flow u. As the flow is turbulent, its mean profile is logarithmic, and its second derivative is thus negative. This is precisely the condition for the mean flow to impart its energy to the interface through the critical layer. This supply of energy to the interface is destabilizing and causes the amplitude of the wave on the interface to grow in time. As in other examples of linear instability, the growth rate of the disturbance in this phase is exponential in time. 
This Miles Phillips mechanism process can continue until an equilibrium is reached, or until the wind stops transferring energy to the waves, i.e., blowing them along, or when they run out of ocean distance, also known as fetch length. Topic. See also Asteroseismology Acoustic wave Green's law Horizontal convective rolls Lee wave Lunatidal interval Mesosphere hashtag dynamic features Morning glory cloud Or Sommerfeld equation Rayleigh-Taylor instability Rogue wave Skyquake Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>